Okay, hey friends, welcome back. My name is Tori, if you're new here. I decided for today's video, this would be a random collection of things this week, but I wanted to jump on and kind of say hello. There are many new people here uh, from last week's video, and I wanted to introduce myself. I, first and foremost, did not expect that video to gain much traction. I literally grabbed an old phone that I had. I didn't have makeup on, I didn't have my mic, and I just decided to go out into the garden and tell you what I was experiencing. So I love that it kind of came to you real and raw, but typically I try and, uh, you know, mess with the audio a bit or look presentable. Um, again, I appreciate all of you that subscribed from that video, but that's not like my classic content. I do like to keep it real, but at the same time, uh, I usually try and plan it out. So again, thank you for being here. I think that's awesome that you decided to subscribe off of that video and there was a lot to address. So if you want to see a little, I guess, uh, account of what I was reading, you can look at my pinned comment, but you know, there wasn't too much negativity here and there. I would say there was, and being on YouTube this long, I've decided that I'm just going to try and let it uh, roll off my back. And uh, if you're new here, you'll know that that's a little tricky for me. I'm super empathetic and we like to approach preparedness in a realistical, positive way. And I decided to do that years back because I was not seeing the prepper community, the preparedness community in that light. It was a little frightening and honestly, it was not approachable for me. And a little backstory, I grew up in rural Pennsylvania. We did not grow up as preppers, but we grew up, you know, in the country. So we canned our food. I learned how to live outside if I needed to. And those weren't things that were instilled upon me for, I guess, preparedness, uh, apocalyptic events. They were just things that we enjoyed doing. So uh, I will say that is my background. That's where my knowledge comes from. But given the last few years, we've kind of just got into our home and thought about things that we could do in the event of any emergency. So we like to take preparedness one step at a time. We like to say that we are prepared for ourselves, our families, and you know our community, but at the same time, we are not perfect. So I always love positive feedback and uh, nice commentary in the comments down below. That's my favorite thing about this channel, that I can have conversations with all of you in the comments. So that video, um, you know, has gotten up there in comments and it's like killing me inside to not be able to respond to everybody. So if you did comment and you're new, I that's not typical of me. I do apologize if I just liked your comment, but I love engaging with all of you. I think it's awesome uh, because typically I'm very introverted. So being able to talk to experience kind of like-minded people is really awesome for me. So thank you for being here. Brief introduction. I'm a mom of three. I have been with my husband for a very long time. We got married here in Colorado about seven years ago and we moved here from Pennsylvania, but we are moving right back to Pennsylvania. And I did get a lot of feedback in that video about that decision. And um, you know, it's personal to us, so I don't have to sit here and chat your ear off about it, but I do get chatty here and there. Uh, I am a stay at home mom. So it's nice to talk to uh, a screen slash this community because it just feels good. If you're a stay at home parent, you know that, but anyway, what I was saying, we are moving back to family. PA is not some random place we chose, although that is typical of us. That's how we chose Colorado. Uh, you know, and there are a variety of reasons that we're moving away from Colorado, but, um, you know, the scenery is beautiful here and there are a lot of things we like about it, but there are a lot of things that we're not fans of. So we're headed on back to our family and land and just a sense of community that we've been missing. So I'm excited to make that journey. It's actually happening way fast. The photographer just moved. So that's why it's semi clean behind me here. Uh, no, he just left. So that is why it's semi clean behind me here. And we're just having such a good time with this. It is the most stressed we've ever been in our lives. So yeah, I think I wanted to just jump on here and kind of say, hey, hello. And I appreciate every single one of you. If you have questions for me, drop them in the comments down below. I randomly in that video shouted out my other channel. So some of you went over there. I appreciate that. That's more motherhood and momming on a budget. 
uh, I guess, like realistic motivation. So if you like that kind of thing, you can head over there. It's Tori Patton, T-O-R-Y-P-A-T-T-O-N. And, you know, that's a brand new channel. So we've been really trying to work hard getting content up on there. But sometimes, uh, you know, we don't make it to that two a week upload schedule. So I try my best not to be chatty on here, but again, I'm a stay-at-home mom to three. I wasn't always a stay-at-home mom. Uh, I have my master's in education, and I was an elementary art teacher for a while there, and I decided that I was going to come home. We are going to homestead, and we are going to homeschool our children. I know it's not for everybody, but I am so excited to be able to have uh, this journey ahead of us. You know, it takes a lot of sacrifice, but I never go a day without gratitude because it's been truly amazing. Um, I'm also a recovering negative person. So if you see me talking positive, talking through things over on that channel, that is what I started to do. I started to switch my mindset and it's done incredible things for me. Also the video last week, I wanted to mention that that whole video was kind of meant and focused to be on detoxification. I wasn't trying to speak about whatever is going on in the sky, but you know, that uh, conversation happened. I'm very aware of what's going on. If you're new here, go ahead and look at my other videos. I've been talking about it for years. Uh, and yes, I, I agree with a lot of you. I believe that there are some things happening that unfortunately are beyond our control. And the purpose of that video was to try and give us a leg up in that. So detoxifying is super important to me. I am on a wellness journey. I've been on one for a while. I am a recovering uh, vegan and, you know, those years kind of destroyed my body. And now I've just been really trying to eat nourishing meals. I've been trying to read my labels. I'm going to drop a video from Tucker Carlson that he did this week. I put it in my community page. Unfortunately, I don't think a lot of you saw it. It's a very important podcast. If you have time to watch it, it's extremely important. I'm all about an 80-20 lifestyle, but being informed is a big part of preparedness and having your mental health right as well as your physical health is super important. So in today's video, I did want to showcase that I have a grocery haul for you, kind of what we're doing while we're moving. And it is very 80-20. It's not perfect, you know, and I wanted to come on here to show that because I have not been seeing it in the preparedness community and I've not been seeing it in the wellness community. Maybe I'm following the wrong people, but balance is very important to myself and my family. And a lot of people are new to the preparedness journey and they want to know where to start. And I really think focusing on your mental health during this is important and keeping in the back of your mind that you're not going to be able to control everything. So just being observant and being able to adapt is a very good skill to have. And that is what I wanted to jump on here and talk about. I know I've been talking your ear off, but I did want to do a brief introduction. Again, appreciate every single one of you that are here. I do have a grocery haul in this video. I have a little bit of a meal plan coming up and I wanted to show you something that I have been packing. It is some of my Mylar storage and I feel like it's very important for everyone to stock up on some of these items. I did showcase a water filter in the last video. I'm still loving it. It's very important to have water on stock and the ability to filter that water. So hopefully you looked into one of those water filters. I have been sent many uh, being in the niche that I am and I'm thankful for that but you know that one's a good one it really is and I appreciate that company so if you want to look into that the link is still in my bio and I think I'm just going to jump into the grocery haul as well as our meal plan I will say this our channel has evolved you know we do a little bit of everything so if you were expecting another video of me sitting here talking about things uh, that are going on I do that sometimes but not all the time so I love that you're here thank you so much I'm going to get you turned around and show you what we got this week. Introduce yourself if you're new. I would love to get to know you. All right. Hey there. Some groceries have arrived and I figured I'd do as many hauls as I can here because this may be, you know, a handful of uh, the last grocery hauls we do here in Colorado on the channel. In Pennsylvania, I plan to do more. So starting strong, we got honest, clean, conscious diapers. Uh, we 
you know, we're cloth diapering for a little bit, but with this move, it's just easier to do the disposable. And then uh, other than that, we just got some of the fresh watermelon fluoride free Hello Bello toothpaste, or I don't know if this is Hello Bello, but regardless, we got some sales, although this was a little pricey with the toothpaste and the diapers. So right around 110, I'd say just the food, which doesn't seem like we got a lot, but we're going to work with it. We have two loaves of bread, 100% whole wheat, uh, 19 grams whole grain per serving. I had 80 cents off if I bought two of those. We have some frozen corn. That is a crowd pleaser lately, and we can't really find corn on the cob. That's non-GMO, unfortunately, but we're working with it. We have some peaches, some bananas. We have avocados, just three of them. I've just been going through like one a day between Millie and I. We really love them. We have some organic cage-free large brown eggs. We got the 18 count. And then the Sunfed Ranch uh, grass-fed, grass-finished beef was on sale for $6.99. So I grabbed two of those. Uh, the chicken just wasn't on sale. So we have a whole you know, a uh, week of red meat here. Uh, with that, we have Angus beef patties. They were on sale as well. I think they were getting real low, like $6. So that's good for six patties. We got the DiGiorno croissant crust pizzas for my husband. We have the Italian trio. I had two fifty off of this, but it comes with the pepperoni, the salami, and the provolone, and it's pretty tasty. I just like to make little roll-ups for the kids with these and hoagies and things like that. We have a sweet potato. We have cocoa brownie blitz, as well as the outrageous uh, almond honey by Dave's Killer Bread. I've never had these before. I just figured the kids would enjoy them. We have some Annie's mac and cheese on sale for 99 cents. We just got three of those. We have blackberries, strawberries. We have some chips and queso for my husband. We have um, unsalted butter as well as some safe catch tuna, the wild elite. Uh, it was a $2 off, so that's pretty good. That would be good for some lunches this week. And then we have the good culture cottage cheese. We got two of those. So like I said, not a lot for what we spent, but it will get us through because we do have, let me take you on over here. It is busy, busy here. Uh, we do have some things to use up like these are all of our snack items but we have some pastas to use up i've been eating popcorn at night that's pretty tasty we have some bean blends so maybe uh some sort of quinoa chili in the future and then you know just our sauces and peanut butter honey and jelly that the kids eat almost every day we have like one coconut uh water left but we're doing good and then i will show you the last really bit part of our pantry right now but we do have like taco shells and broth and rice and things like that so we're good on the sides we also have some potatoes and oats down here and coffee honestly I think what we got is great and it will complement all of those sides I feel like I can do a lot with these ground beefs I can make them into you know five to six different dinners so I am in a unique situation where I am packing up our entire lives, but I was ready for a restock on some monthlies that I normally stock as a person trying to be prepared. So my number one thing was supplements this month. And of course, if you take medication, it would be something to stock up on, but I am going a more natural remedy route. And, you know, I'm a certified herbalist through the Herbal Academy. So so I like to do what I can, but there are a lot of things that I can't grow in my garden. So I get most of my supplements from Amari. I'm making happy juice here with some electrolytes and I buy this with my own money. This video is not sponsored. I do have a discount link with this company. So if you want to shop the sale, which is going on today and tomorrow, it's in my bio. If you have any questions about it, just let me know. These are all natural, tested for glyphosate, organic, non-GMO ingredients and they truly are life-changing. So I also take the Mood Plus for them. They call this Nature's SSRI. I 
will probably get flagged for saying that, but it's very important that people know there are other options for themselves out there, especially mothers in the postpartum period. I also take their probiotics. I really enjoy both products. And then I'm also showcasing my perfect supplements. Again, not sponsored. I buy these all with my own money. I take the mushroom immunity blend. I take the chlorella for detox. And I also take the beef liver, but there are so many products. There's always a sale with perfect supplements. If you buy three, you can get 25% off and then you can stack my code and get an additional 10% off. So I know that sounded a little bit salesy, but medication, supplements, whatever you may need, I suggest having at least two extra months stock up for. And then while I was kind of cramming everything into this utility room, I was going over some things that we just have for every day. Our power goes out a ton here. So I have a few different power stations. I have this larger Opez generator that would help uh, power multiple things, but I also have this smaller Jackery. They are both powered by solar, so that has been really helpful. And then if you're new to this prepping game, I suggest having, you know, at least a week's worth of canned foods that you can just heat up, but having foods that store indefinitely is so overlooked. I have a lot in Mylar. I have a lot of foods that store indefinitely. The only thing we're not bringing with us is a large amount of honey and we are selling that to a friend. I like to do local honey. So all of those Mylar items are pastas, rices, beans, uh, flowers, sugars, salts, random things like that. But the most important thing in there was my non-GMO heirloom seeds. And I have that linked in my description box if you want to get your hands on those. But I seed save. There's over over 4,000 different seeds in there and it's a variety of items you know you have some medicinals but you also have a lot of produce so I talked about some big ones medication of course water water filtration and a way to power items but here are some random things that I have been finding and that is canned foods easy ones we have sugar in there salt emergency candles we have flashlights matches just bottled water back here and of course one of my favorites is self-defense so stock up on on that whatever that may look like for you but it is your right to defend yourself and it's important to know how to do so so I have that in here as well as some cutlery that's a nice little segue we have some peanut butter always good to have in a bug out bag I did not showcase that in this video but I have those as well and I know this was random but I was trying to be helpful uh, and give you a quick tour of what's happening before we do this move Alrighty, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here again. If you're new, I appreciate you. I really hope that you get some sort of value from this channel. I have an entire emergency preparedness playlist linked in the description if you want. I have grocery hauls. I have mom motivation. I've been on this platform for a very long time and I have grown this community to be what it is. So if you want to check out some of those videos, definitely do that. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay adventurous, stay creative. Bye y'all.